I'm gonna try the solo stove campfire again, but this time I'm gonna actually cook on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up and then cook some steaks on a little cast iron stove. Let me go ahead and light it up. A little fire starter in there. It's already starting to burn. And I'm gonna throw the cast iron skillet on there. I got the mount on the stove already set up. It's only been about a couple minutes. As you can see, the solo stove is already burning pretty hot right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put the cast iron skillet and then cook up this garlic right here. You can see the flames hitting pretty strong right now. And I, don't, I barely put any wood in there. Look at that, man. Thanks. It's lit. All right, so what we have here is you wanna go ahead and stir around your garlic. And then once you got the garlic going good, then you're gonna go ahead and put your meat on there. Right now so, I threw this nice little steak on there with pepper. Just wanted to try and cook with this before I went out to a camp and not know how to do it, but it's pretty easy. If you need to get a bigger flame, all you need to do is break up a little bit more twigs and that's where you just throw it in on the side. And you see, I just threw two little pieces of uh, wood in there and it's already burning pretty hot again. The flame's kicking back up. So it's a really good design right here where you can just easily throw the firewood into the solo stove campfire and then get your cooking going. You can see right here, I got two steaks already almost done. Third one on the way and the flames kicking back up super strong. Starting to smell real nice. Got some uh, meat cooking right there. Yep. So this is the first batch that came off the solo stove with the cast iron. As you can see right there, the flames rolling. You got two fresh ones on there, one's almost done and it smells great. It's 35 degrees out here in Maryland, but this little campfire is putting in work. Oh yeah, we cooking.